Hi everyone, welcome to the Cat Scrappiness YouTube channel. My name is Dalise, but you may know me as Stamper Girl. Today I am making this card that I have titled it Spring Better Together. It's using the Carrot Fun. It also uses a few of our Valentine releases. And you have seen this card in the intro video for Carrot Fun. So let's put it together. First of all, if you want more information on how to put this die cut together, make sure that you check out that Carrot Fun introduction video that it's in the Cat's Crappiness YouTube channel or in the store. I have cut all the pieces and I'm about to color them and I will show you that. Or if you have seen that part in the introduction video, you can fast forward it until we put the card together. Super simple card to put together, but I think it is adorable. Okay, they have been passed through my machine and I brought two different oranges, reddish colors, and my green. I have my cat scrappiness brushes with me. And I am just going to pull these guys up. I'm going to put them on the side. I'm going to keep them in the tape so I don't lose them. But if you're interested, Cat has some magnetic sleeve, magnetic pieces in that come with the sleeves that you could get so you could put your die cuts together. I think I am going to start with this one with the pearl reef color and just swish 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 start outside your die cut and then come in this is just adding a little bit of interest if you notice i am not being precise just adding markings i start outside the die cut because i don't want to leave a big dark mark and then come into the die cut. Okay. 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 Love that. Okay. I'm going to come with my second color. Let's see, because this one is a little bit darker. Just adding, and I'm actually making sure that I add color where those marks that were left behind by the die cut, okay? Because that's where the indentations are on the die cut. These markings right here, that's what I'm talking about. Okay, I'm going to bring the little toppers. I have one that it ran away. I'm going to pull up it back in, back in there. It's easier to add color that way. Okay. I'm going to bring my scrap, nice amount of ink and my little scrappiness brush, brush. And I'm starting in the bottom. And I'm going in circles. There you go. Okay. And then um, the big one. So this cardstock that I pick has this beautiful um, texture. And I'm going to go all the way on the top. I'm going to add a little bit of color. So you will have a highlight in the middle. Okay. Okay. Okay, I'm going to add even more. I want it really, really, really super dark here down in the bottom. You, of course, can do whatever color combination you prefer. The other thing is that you could do, let me grab a darker green to show you. This would be perfect. These brushes... Are really cool and that yes I've been doing this right but you could go like this and you see how you get straight lines okay so we're gonna use it to add some lines here in the middle okay 
and these markings are just going to add interest and I'm going to add a little bit of a darker green right there and then I'm going to come up with that line dark green and again a little line Okay, and those are perfect. Okay. Putting my brushes and inks away so I have a little bit more space here to show you. And now let's put these guys together. I'm just gonna pop them out of my cardstock. Pop these from my cardstock too. Let me show you the difference. Like they're really, look at the difference between the topper that has no ink and the actual carrot. Like that looks so cute. And now I'm going to bring my glue. I'm using liquid glue here. And I started with my biggest one. And just tip it to one of your die cuts and then wiggle it in place until it matches perfectly. Check it out. <laughs> Those are so cute. Adorable. Really, really adorable. Okay. Do it again. Okay. And just wiggle them in place. So as soon as you have one of them done, hey, just, that's why we use liquid glue. So we have a little bit of wiggle and play time to set those up exactly the way that we want them. Again, just grab left or right or the top, find the sides, it's easier. And then I just put it together and then just wiggle them in place. And the last one, which is the tiniest one. And that might be a little too much glue. If that ever happens, you don't want it seeping. Just touch it to your hand. Remove a little bit of it. There you go. Much better. And then let's put it here. And I'm going to grab it and just wiggle it in place. Oh, my sweetness. They are so cute. Let me show you the look. And here are our beautiful cat scrappiness carrot fun craft eyes in our new spring Easter release. I will sh leave you now with some samples on how to our design team has put these together and um, again on these you could highlight these markings with a pen or you could even use a little bit of a color pencil this one is actually a watercolor pencil so I'm just adding just gonna add a few lines with my watercolor pencils these are the Super Color by Karandash. And then you come in with a little bit of water. And this one is not necessarily my favorite brush, but let's use it. It says right here. And you just add a little bit of water. Okay. And... I'm just adding a little bit more of that brown everywhere. You might want to add a few details here and there. You could add a little bit of brown in the leaves. Very loosely, as you can see. Like, this is... I'm not doing a masterpiece. This is just adding a little bit of the idea of some dirt. And I will show you how it looks... So here is the one that we have added a little bit of tiny interest compared to one where it does not have any of the pencil markings. They both look adorable, but 
you make it yours. You could add a little bit of a brown blending with the cat scrappiness brushes to add like a little bit of like a look of they have just been pulled out from the dirt. And pulling out from the dirt, you may want to get check our second in this series of introduction videos where we have one of our new products in this spring and Easter release is called Tuck It In. And they go perfectly with these carrots. Here I have a piece of blue cardstock that I have used my 6x6 six six cat scrappiness Love is in the Air stencil from our Valentine release to dry emboss the texture on here. And as you can see here, I have decided to do a little bunch of carrots that I have tied. I only tied the top carrot with the piece of twine. Everything else has just been glued and used a little bit of foam. foam. And in here I am using some foam to um, adhere my stitch oval from Cat Scrappiness. This is the regular stitch oval that I use to mount everything. And I thought it kind of gives me the idea of an Easter egg. And this one is such a spring idea for a card even though it is a we are better together this could be sent for anything valentine's it could be used for spring it could be used for um easter i just love the look i'm adding a little bit of glue on top of my 3d foam tape because this foam is with the last in the roll and i tend to feel like they're never sticky enough in my opinion and here are my three adorable carrots creating that adorable bunch. And then I thought, oh my god, these go perfectly with the we are, we are better together sentiment from the Valentine Simple Sentiment package. And I'm trying to figure it out. I know that I want it to be a banner, but I'm like trying to figure it out if I want it this way, I want it with this way. So I keep changing the position and then I am sure that I want a little bit of twine or something. That's why I punch that little hole on top of it. And I say, oh my God, this is perfect. I am going to thread one of my um, ends of my twine to make this work. Of course, I had already cut it, so I am thinking, how can I make this work? And it is with my cat scrappiness tweezers. I'm gonna use it to pull through that tiny bit of twine that I have here, and it works like a charm. I was so excited that that worked out so perfectly. It is a little bit long, so instead of leaving it hanging, what I'm gonna do is I am gonna use another piece of my foam tape and I'm just gonna adhere it here to um, keep it in the same place so it's not going anywhere and it's not covering my adorable bunch of carrots. This is my card. I am placing it a little bit under the bunch and it is done. I am super happy the way this turned out. The added texture that the love is in the air stencil brings was just enough to make this card just pop. So I really hope you enjoy this and you check out the products at the store.